Hello, my friends. Jeff Birchall here. First off, thank you for taking the time to watch this. Thank you for joining me this morning. And uh, this morning, I just want to talk a little. I want to tell you about what I've been through over the past uh, couple months and how it relates to my internet business and power network and and the job market out there because I've actually had to go back into the job market. But I'll get into all that in just a minute. I'm going to back up a bit. I'm going to start kind of at my beginning and of, of this venture in my life because I've been through a lot. I've tried a lot of things. I've tried a lot of different home businesses, a lot of different things, and I've never had any success, never had the kind of results that I really wanted. But over the past two years, I've been able to build a home business that actually works. It actually continues to, to grow kind of on its own because of work that I've done. Now, don't get me wrong. For um, a couple years now, it's kind of funny. It's almost crazy to think July 12th will be two years that I've been in Power Network. But what I've been doing is I've been applying what I've learned, and I've been doing the actions up until December. What happened in December? Well, i got to go back just a little bit more. In August, I resigned from my job. Of, of 15 years, I had made some money with my internet business. For a matter of fact, I made some good money. In uh, July, I made about um, $3,000, and in August, I made about $4,300. And, you know, no income guarantees here at all. I'm just telling you what I have been able to achieve and the, what has happened in my business. But it doesn't mean this will work for you. It, it is set up to work for anybody, but it's not for everybody. I hope that, that makes sense. It's only for people who are sick of the grind, sick of the lies, sick of being told one thing and then just dragged out because somebody else has a different agenda. And, you know, when we have control of our own business, we can make decisions based on our best interest and not based on somebody else's best interest. The problem is, is getting to the point where you can leave your job or whatever you're doing to support your, your lifestyle right now, that income that you're generating now, and maintain that level of income and grow it so that you don't have to step backwards, right? Well, like I said, I, I made some good money in July and August. In August, the end of August, I decided that it was time to go full-time with my home business. And I resigned from my job, and I, I got to work. And in September, I had a huge eye-opening when I made $500. I went from the month before making over 4000 to making 500 And that, you know, I was thinking, you know what, okay, we've got a little transition period. And that's fine. We're going to roll into October, and we're going to just keep punching and going. And... The thing is, is I, I was continuing to grow the business. I was continuing to attract people to join my team and, and start their own blogs and start their own home business. And in October, and nothing against Empower Network because I love Empower Network. I, I am this is the last business I will ever do. I'm not the shiny ball guy. I'm not jumping from program to program. I made a commitment when I joined Empower Network that this was going to be my last rodeo, as, as Michelangelo says. I wasn't going to put all my attention in a million different directions and get no results at all. I wanted to focus and, and do something very very specific that is it's gonna be there for a long time. I, I don't plan on quitting the Empower Network any any time at all. I, I want this to, to go on and continue to grow for as long as I possibly can. And they're in it for the long haul, so I'm not worried about the company. I mean they're yesterday they did one point four million dollars in business on our, our new product. The internet traf traffic program. And if you've been getting those emails and watching those videos, I really appreciate you taking that time. I hope you've enjoyed it as much as I did. But uh, I digress a little bit there. We'll get back to the, the topic at hand here. So, <clears throat> um, September, I, I was my first full month of, of full time working at home, being self employed, uh, internet marketer. And October came, and, and then in December, I started to, or, or we'll skip November. In November, Things still were, were really struggling for me. I just wasn't getting the breakthroughs that I needed to get my income to the next level. And unfortunately, in December, I, I ran out of money. <laughs> I mean, it, that's what it came right down to. I've got a wife and two children, and I'm in no position to have no money. We blew through our savings account. Um, it, some of our expenses were way more than I anticipated, and the cost of health insurance was outrageous for my family so it, it was some serious eye-openers and in the middle of December I had to start looking for a job I had to start putting myself out there to start bringing income back in 
to the house so I could support my family. And in January, I, I actually started with a, a company out of Arizona, and I'm, I'm here in Oklahoma, you know, my padded room here in Shawnee, Oklahoma. And I started with that company in January, and it was an interesting job. It was really actually pretty neat, and it was for a lighting efficiency company. What we did is we went to manufacturing facilities, businesses, the Tomahawk cruise missiles. That's a, a place here in Oklahoma actually routes out they have these big cylinders, which are the bodies of Tomahawk cruise missiles. And so we went in, and you know that, those old style lights that have the big cone on top, and they're like a yellow bulb, a real nasty light. Well, those are really inefficient old technologies. So our, our business was to go in and replace that old technology with new technology, cheaper, more efficient, and we would get rebates for the companies. And, and it was really actually a pretty neat job. I went to some neat places. I went to the place that they make all the chicken nuggets for McDonald's in the Southwest. Um, I went to a place that made multi-multi-million dollar drill bits for uh, uh, oil drills. Um, Saw some machines like you wouldn't believe. Big, big as a house. You could literally put a block of aluminum inside these machines the size of a car and literally route out a car with these machines. It was incredible. And the job was pretty fulfilling because I knew I was doing something that was helping business owners. And that's been one of my goals. I want to help people. I want to put myself out there a little bit more, put my experience, put what I've been through out there to help other people and, and always provide value. You know, I, I saw that job and I took that job because I, I saw it as something that I could go out in the marketplace and provide some value and something really needed to help people stay in business, save money, you know, keep their employees. So I, I did that for a couple months and everything was going really fine. And as if you've been a follower of mine, if you've been on my list for a while, you know that that job that I resigned from in August was from a sign company out of Las Vegas. It's a one of the biggest sign companies in the world. And I worked for the casino, the interior gaming division. We built the signs that go above slot machines. So I have a lot of experience with signs. I was figuring the other morning, and uh, in my career, in over 15 years in the sign business as an engineer, draftsman, layout, um, designer, or actually being a part of building, I have been a part of building over 7,500 signs in my career, ranging from a $5 sign to the Utah Jazz Stadium was the last project I worked on, their center home display, which all in all, that was a $20 million job. So I've got a lot of experience in the sign business. And I and when I was doing that process in, in December of looking for a job, of course I reached out to some sign companies because that's where my experience comes from. Unfortunately, here in Oklahoma, the sign business is not anything like it was in, in Vegas at Yesco. Um, <clears throat> Yesco is a major corporation. I mean, something like 3,500 3, employees nationwide. And a lot of resources, a lot of money, and a lot of, you know, that they can have the top, equi the best equipment, and the top employees. And so when I started searching for a job here in Oklahoma, the pay was just, I mean, I don't even know how these guys live on the money that, that these sign shop owners pay them. But it's because the market here is very competitive. Is people don't want to pay for ex expensive signs because it, it's kind of a different mentality here. They just want what's enough to get by to, to put something on their building. So this guy, he calls me after I'm I was actually in Arizona at a training, a week training for that that company, that energy efficiency company. And this guy that owns a sign company here in the town gets in touch with me. And he makes me an offer that, that I, I couldn't just turn away from. He actually offered me partnership in his business. And if you, once again, if you followed me for a while, you might have heard me talk about my business plan. I spent three years writing a business plan for to start my own sign company. When I moved here to Oklahoma, my intention was to start my own sign company. And that was the time that my son was diagnosed with his kidney disease. And at that time, I really didn't have the emotional... Um, investment to put in to starting my own company and that's why I, I just stayed on with the company out of Las Vegas for about a year and a half working from home working from here in the padded room and it, it was very isolating in that kind of business because I never got to see the product I never got to see the signs I never got to really interact with the people 
so I, I wanted to get away from that and be more interactive with with actual people and and, and I, I'm kind of in a u unique position where I can um, design signs and I can sell them too I, I have enough experience that I know what I'm talking about and I know what makes a good sign I know how to help people to, to increase their image by putting a nice sign up so this guy offered me partnership and he offered me a salary as a because I was going to be the general manager as well and I decided to go ahead and accept the position I uh, I wanted I could see this vision you know that of, of the future of that business plan coming to life he told me that I could start implementing some stuff that some ideas that I had and he gave me or so supposedly had given me kind of a a full reign over the company so that I could step in there and, and kind of morph this into a, a different thing that it is right now. And it was all lies. It was complete and total lies. I worked for the guy for, um, this would be four weeks now, but I Monday, yesterday morning, I, I went into the office and saw more lies, so I just packed up my stuff and left. And I'm, I'm not going to go back. The, it, it's pretty bad. When a guy, you know, and, and and this guy knows me. I've worked with him in the past. He knows I have a wife. He knows I have children. He, he knows that I have commitments. And then he offers me this position, and he offers me this job, and he has nothing. I, I didn't know it, but the guy has nothing. He has no money. He flat out lied to me, and I haven't been paid. So three weeks, 120 hours, 40 hours a week, not counting all the extra hours I put in at home and working on the business plan to modify it to fit his business to um, start moving in that direction I started working on website stuff and blog stuff and all for that business so I had way more than the, the 40 hours a week right but I just put down on my time card or my time sheet the straight 40 because I thought I was a partner I thought I was an owner and the owners you know they do what they have to do they put in the extra hours when they have to do it so I was stepping into that role well, the first week came and no paycheck, so I, I let that go. I said, you know, we're, first week we're, we're getting things settled, we're getting things going, and uh, I, maybe he's a week off on his pay. So week two comes, get to Friday, and nothing, no, no, no word from him, no, no paychecks, no payroll, no nothing. So last week, in the middle of the week, I started really getting upset. I mean, legitimately, right? You showed up to work for three weeks and didn't get a paycheck. I'm pretty sure you'd be pissed off too, right? And if you're not, then maybe you need to reevaluate where, where you're at because I don't know about you, but I don't work for free. I, I don't work for somebody else for the fun of it. I don't leave my family every day for 8 to 10 hours for just the sake of doing it. I, I do that stuff to make a living, to support my family. I expect to be paid for my knowledge just like you should. You should be expected. You should expect to be paid for the value you bring to the marketplace. And if you want to get paid more, Increase your value. Over the course of my career, over the course of my life, I'm constantly increasing my value by putting better information inside my mind. I read. I listen to audios. I, I don't listen to a lot of music anymore because it's actually pretty negative when you really listen to most of it. And I am working on myself as much as I can. A lot of personal development. That's been one of the, the saving graces of being part of Empower Network is we have eight core commitments every day. We have these eight, eight things that we do. And four of them are actually based on personal development. When I started Empower Network, if you've seen my, my story at all, it was one of the worst times of my life. I was going through a very, very, very rough period of my life, emotionally and physically, and, and with my family and my son. And the personal development helped me through that. It helped me to be able to be the father I needed to be to support my family, my husband, to support my wife. And luckily, because I've continued to do that personal development, because I've continued to work on myself harder than I work on anything else, when all of this started to happen, I didn't go into a tailspin. I didn't lose control. I don't feel desperate today. I don't feel like the world is against me. You know, These are all choices that I made. These are decisions that I made to step into a different future. Were they right decisions or wrong decisions? At this point, it's the experience, right? I could dwell on it all day. I could be pissed off. I could cry. Um, but you know what? Today's a new day, and I have a new opportunity to keep moving forward. 
and I'm going to. I'm not going to just stop. I mean, I've got my wife and kids that are depending on me. So this this whole thing has really been quite an eye opener for me. And Friday was really kind of the, a hard day for me. It was pretty tough. And the reason for it was not really my emotional stress or my thoughts, but when I got home Friday and I was talking to my wife about everything that happened, and she just started crying. She broke down crying. And what do we do? What's what's next? And why does this happen to us? What What is going on? And all those questions that people ask when something bad happens, right? Why did this happen to me? Well, it didn't happen to me. Nothing happens to me. Um, it was decisions. It was choices. It was putting faith in other people. And, you know, the only person that you can demand integrity from is yourself. I have no control over that sign shop owner guy and his integrity of how he does business. That's him. I have no control over that. I have no control over how the energy efficiency company ran their business. That was their business. All I have control over is me, my thoughts, my actions, and what I'm going to let affect me. What do I mean by that? I mean, am I going to go into a depression and start beating myself up? Well, what good is that going to do, right? It's not going to do any good. So the best thing I figured I could do was make this video and just put it on the table and share, share my experience. And the reason I wanted to make this and the reason I want to kind of tie this to Empower Network and the home business is my wife said something to me when we were talking Friday. We were talking about this business and she's seen me you know, try all kinds of stuff. And she said to me, you know, of, of everything you have tried, of, of all the businesses, the home, make money from home stuff, she, she said of everything, I had full faith in this sign company. I, I thought for sure this was going to be the one that works out, and it turned out to be the biggest scheme I've ever been in in my life. Flat out. The guy lied for me. He stole my time. He basically stole my money because he didn't pay me, right? Um, I invested a lot into the customers, to, you know, just being there for them, and he made a liar out of me. He, he would tell me that, We'll have the neon up and plan up and ready to bend neon by this day, and that day would come and go. And I had told customers that, yeah, we're, we're going to have the neon. So he made a liar out of me. So you know what? That's not cool because I work hard on my integrity. And I'm not going to lie to people like that. I'm not going to be forced to be put in a position to be a liar. You know what? Every, everything I've told you about Empower Network, if you watch my past videos, you go to my blog, everything that I have shared is truth. I don't sugarcoat stuff. I don't tell you what you want to hear. I say what needs to be said. I tell the truth. I talk about my business. I've shared my income. I've shared screenshots. I don't hide. I, I, I may not be on the phone every day. I may not be 100% accessible every single minute of the day to my team. But you know what? This is an internet business. We shouldn't be tied to the phone, right? If you like talking on the phone, that's great. But if you're like me and don't like talking on the phone, don't like cold, cold calling, don't like selling people, then this is the way to go, I mean, honestly. And through it all, through these two years, through my ups and downs and these other companies and businesses, Empower Network's paid every Friday. I haven't missed a paycheck. They haven't missed a payday one. Every time I am owed money, come Friday, I get a direct uh, deposit to my bank account. It's like clockwork, and, and it's awesome. I've done the work to, to where I'm to the point where every single Friday I, I get a paycheck from Empower, and it might not be much. I mean, to, it, it kind of goes up and then kind of down, but, you know, so that money's there, though, and it covers the cost of my business. So my business runs on its own, and all I have to do is continue to work on it, continue to put in the effort, continue to to build, even if I can only do it a couple hours a week, even if I only have a few hours after work or in the evening, you know, maybe you only have a limited amount of time. And the nice thing is, is when you do the work, when you put the work in 
and you follow this training and follow the steps, it, it's like clockwork. I mean, it works, and it, it works on autopilot. It's it's awesome. So I, I'm not here today to pitch you. I, I, there is a link below, and if you'd like to register and join with me, do it. I'm, I'm here for you. I'm ready. We've got some great products, and I, I can show you how I was able to build to to develop a business that is running on its own now. And sure, it's not making me thousands and thousands like I want it to yet, right? But it's the steps. It, it's the progress. It's the taking the daily actions and then implementing. It, it's all about action. If if you were to join today, if you were to buy the blogging system for $25, right, and become an affiliate for $19.95 so that you can earn 100% commissions, um, are you going to make a million dollars overnight? No. You're not. Let's let's be honest. Let's be real. But you can start to set that foundation. You can start on solid ground and lay a foundation and slowly over time put up walls. Put up a ceiling. Put on the roof and then start filling it up. One of my mentors, he talks a lot about pipeline income. <clears throat> and when you think about this idea of a pipeline of income that is running to your bank account whether you do anything or not. Um, it, over the past few months, I haven't blogged a lot. I put up a couple blogs, a couple videos, and you know what? It still works. It still continues to work because I put in the effort in the beginning. I, I just I want to be clear on this, okay? I, I really want to be clear that I did not just join Empower Network, pay and buy the product, and all of a sudden I started making money. I had to follow the training. I had to follow the guidance. But because I did, I have other people on my team out there that have taken ownership of their own business, and I get residual income from other people's effort, too. I mean, how awesome is that? Um, has the journey of Empower Network been perfect? No, ab absolutely not. It's been some ups and downs there, too. But the thing is, is that they're always there too. You know, they they're always telling the truth. They're always sharing their heart on their sleeves. They're, they're they don't hold back. And it's it's really a different community and different place to be when people want to share. I mean, that that training that I've been talking about this week and sending out the emails, the Dixter's house. It's one of the most incredible trainers and mentors in the home business profession. Period. I mean. The amount of emotional content that he put into creating that product for us is just unbelievable because he cares. He cares about you. He cares about me. He cares about our success. He knows that companies like this, companies like Empower Network, Direct Sales, Network Marketing, MLM, whatever you want to call it, um, don't survive and succeed on their own. It's the people. What is our product? It's a blog. No, it's not. Our product is you. Our product is me. We are a leadership factory. We, Our real product is personal development, developing you to become the person that you want to be and live the life that you want to live. We all have that right. We all have the ability to make choices to better ourselves. And that's that's what it comes down to. That's my series of choices. Each choice I made was a choice that I was looking to better myself, to better my future. And once again, like I was saying, I don't have control over those other people. And sometimes you gotta take opportunities, you know, sometimes you gotta you gotta jump on something and go for it to find out if it's real. And unfortunately sometimes you get kicked in the teeth. You know? You you wake up on a a Monday morning and realize that you're Worse off than you were when you started out in, in this new venture. <laughs> and that's where I, I am this morning. I'm ashamed to say that we're actually going to have to probably go to our family and borrow a little money to make through this week because I was counting on paychecks from, from a liar. I put my heart and soul into something else that was a lie. And you know why it wasn't internet-based? That's the thing that just kind of keeps getting me here. 
you hear all these things about the scheming internet pyramid scams. Well, this was a job. This is what you know. We're raised in society to think that we go out and get a good job. We go work for the man. We work hard and build our career. But that's what I was doing, and I got beat up. I mean, really, I, I got my ass kicked over the past couple months here. I'm not going to lay on the ground. Ground is no place for a champion. Always remember that. You're a champion. Don't stay on the ground. Get up. You deserve it. I deserve it. We all deserve to live life of quality, of life of, of su sustenance, life of enjoyment. Not of stress and worry, heartache, heartbreak. Where's the next mill coming from? How are we going to make our car payment this month? How are we going to make rent this month? It's not how life is supposed to be. I've worked hard in my life. I like working. I will probably work until I die. I don't, you know, there's there's levels of retirement, right? There's some people that work their whole lives and then retire and cut it off, and that's it. I don't think I'll be that person. I think that I will always need to be doing something to to keep myself active. But I, I want control. I want the other day my son brought home a little thing for a fundraiser, some beef jerky, some Slim Jims or whatever they are, right? For for his school, he's in kindergarten. And they were a dollar a piece, and I couldn't even afford one Slim Jim. One dollar. Didn't have it. I said to myself, "I'm not going to do this anymore." I'm not going to be in this position ever again. I'm not going to let somebody else dictate my future and have any influence over my family's lifestyle. It's pretty, pretty sad when the guy will be 37 this year. I can't support my family right now. It's, it's embarrassing. It's painful. But it's no reason to give up. I, I have to keep moving forward. And I've decided that the only way to keep moving forward is to focus on helping people, number one. Because I know that if I help enough other people, I will get what's coming to me eventually. If I do the right thing, if I work hard, I know that the payments I'm putting in will return dividends to me in the future. So I have to focus on I want to help people. I want to help you if you if you decide to make a decision today to join Empower Network, if you want to give it a role, then I'm I'm gonna help you. I'll I'll give you everything that I have, all the tools I've used, and I'm committed. I'm this this is the one thing that has been constant for me for two years now. It's been my place of refuge. My, my blog is where I can go and share my heart and soul. It's where I can tell my story. It's where I can share my experiences. It's where I can share the opportunity of the business. And it's been a, a good outlet for me, and I'm going to start using that outlet more. I'll let this off my chest and get this, this negative crap out. Because they, they say that one negative thought dumps so much neg uh, toxic chemicals in your body that it could take 8 to 10 hours to get all that junk out of your body. And the longer we, we swim 
in that negativity, the longer our system and our body is just flooded with negativity and, and is damaging. You know, it, it, it's damaging. It hurts us. And stress is a killer. We, we can't live our lives in stress. There, there's good stress and bad stress. And you know, you know which stress I'm talking about. You've been there. I'm sure you have. We've all been through the mud. There's very few of us out there that live the the exceptional life with no struggles and no worries, right? Even if you even people with money have challenges. They're just different challenges. And that's what you got to really work on. That's why personal development is so important to work on is because you, you can't ask for less challenges in life, right? Because you'll just get more. You have to ask for more wisdom to handle the challenges that are handed to you. And that's what I'm doing. I'm, I'm asking for more wisdom. What can I do? When I was meditating this morning, I was thinking and reflecting and just trying to visualize my future, trying to visualize my new direction because I have to set a new direction now. i gotta got to set the cell. It's not the direction of the wind that takes us to our destination. It's the set of the cell. And so I need to set my cell and focus on where I'm going. But when I was meditating this morning, I realized that I, I don't want to go there by myself. I, I, I've i always been kind of a, a almost, I'm, I'm going to say, I'm going to use it loosely, okay? I've been kind of a loner most of my life, and it wasn't really, I think, out of choice. I think now that I've, I've done this personal development and I look back on it, it was I was shy and I didn't know how to develop relationships with people. I didn't know how to um, approach people in a way of, of just being a friend. A lot of times it came off like arrogance, like I was a jerk or something. But in reality, it's just I was very, very shy. And I've realized that it's people. They're, you know, the world revolves around us people. I mean, really. Why do we go to work? Well, it's to provide a service, to provide a value for other people. It's not machines spending money. It's not robots buying items and paying cash. It's it's real people. So everything we do is real people. When you when you subscribe to my email list, I, I don't want you to take this the wrong way and you know when you, you come up on my screen you're just a number like today I had two subscribers so far this morning and I look at that and I see two leads today but you know what those are two people those are two real-life people that have dreams and goals and aspirations and they want more from life they, they want to live the life that they've dreamed of so when I was thinking this morning and doing my reflection, I, I, I want to make it a conscious effort to keep you in mind in everything I do. And remember that you're a real person and the shit I've been through over the past couple of months, you might be going through ten times worse right now. And I want to be here for you. I want to be your friend. I want to be your mentor maybe. Maybe there's something that I know that you would like to know and I would love to teach you. Life is a, a series of choices. We can choose to follow. We can choose to survive. A lot of people, they, they start life with dreams and aspirations and goals. And they start getting kicked in the teeth because life happens. They go into the market, job marketplace and things aren't the way they imagine them to be. And over time, dreams kind of just disappear. They get put on the shelf and put aside. And, and we start to just survive. We start to do whatever we have to in order to just get by day to day. We go to our jobs that we hate. We work for the good boss who's a jerk or lies to us, promises the world, and then doesn't deliver anything. We come home, turn on the, the TV, and hypnotize ourselves so that we don't have to feel the pain of our lives. And you know what, I'm speaking from experience here. I'm not saying you do this. 
I, I'm saying this is what I've done. I've been there, my friend. I know. I've, I've been to the point where it was just survival. But I don't want to just survive. I want to live. I want to be alive. I don't want to spend until I'm 70-something years old surviving to get to enjoy my retirement at the end of my life. I want to enjoy my life now. I want to share my experiences with my family. I want to share the world with the ones I love. I want to experience in their lives and I want to share my experiences with them. I want to develop better relationships with people and become better friends and have, have friends out there to talk to and, and and just be alive. Isn't it a little bit more fun when you've got the people around you that you love and you care about? I think so. I think that's why we do the shit we do. That's why we go to work. That's why we deal with the jerks. So that every once in a while we get to experience that time with our family, with our kids. We get to go on a, a wonderful vacation to somewhere that we've never been. And we, we get to experience life through the eyes of a different way of life. And I, I'm, I'm all for work. But there's a reason we work. There's a reason we work and it's not most of us, it's not just for the fun of it. So why not put the effort? Why not put, if you're going to invest your emotional content into something, if you're going to put your heart and soul into something, shouldn't it be you? Don't you deserve it? I believe you do. I believe your dreams are important. I believe your goals are important. And I believe that you are important. And I, I'm not ever going to forget what I'm saying here today. I'm not ever going to turn around on my word and go back into that mode of just getting by. Because just getting by sucks. It's, it's been pretty crappy. It's time to thrive. And it's time to step in to our new future. That's what I'm doing. That's why I made this video today. Because I'm letting this out. I'm letting this go. I'm putting this out in the universe. I'm letting you know that I'm a real person. I'm letting you know that I'm here. I haven't gone anywhere. I haven't been quite as active lately as I was a couple months ago. But the padded room's still here. And it's still, still here in Shawnee, and I'm not going anywhere. I am making a new commitment to my business and to Empower Network. Because of what I've seen. Because they've never missed a payday. Because of the lies out there and the struggles. And I know there's help. I know there's a future. I know there's a possibility. I know there's an opportunity. I know that if you're willing to put in effort, if you're willing to put in the work and take action, you can have whatever you want. Or this life, we're not, we don't live in a universe of, of limitations and lack. This is a universe of abundance. There is more than enough for all of us to have everything we've ever wanted. So, that's it, my friends. That's I, I could ramble on here a little bit more. I just wanted to share this today. I wanted to share you know, where I've been, what's been happening over the past few months why I've been quiet, and how sometimes things that appear good on the outside, that sound good, are too good to be true. And that doesn't necessarily mean that it's a, a internet business. It doesn't necessarily mean that it's a home business. We have to be careful and watch out for ourselves in everything we do in life. And that includes going out into a job marketplace and, and investing ourselves into somebody else. Make the right investments. Invest in the person that you know has your, your best interest. And that's you. 
pick up a book today, read something good. Download an audio, listen to something off of iTunes like a Zig Ziglar or something like that. Turn off the TV. Start making new decisions that, that life is short and you've only got a limited amount of time. As, as uh, my mentor Jim Rohn says in, in The Art of Communication, he, he says that a lot of us are faked out. Let's say you have a, a yearly fishing trip and um, you, you, let's say you, you know, I've got 20 more years of this fishing trip and that's, that's not true. We've got 20 more times. That's it. Think about that. We don't have 20 years to go fishing. If you do a yearly fishing trip, you've got 20 more times. We have to pack as many experiences as we can into every single day so that our lives mean something. So that we are fulfilling our own destinies and not counting on anybody else. Take those experiences. Make new experiences. And then have the life you want. So that's it, my friends. Go out. Make it a great day. I'm here for you if you're ready to join Empower Network, if you're ready to take control of your life, if you're ready to take action. Click the banner right below. It's twenty-five dollars to get started. Nineteen ninety-five to be an affiliate, and you can make one hundred percent commissions, and it'll change your life. Invest in yourself, and it will change your life, my friend. Make it a great day. <laughs>